To begin, take two hip poles and join them together. Lay the connected section upside down on the ground so the legs face upwards. Slot two leg poles into the hip poles. Insert one end of a foot into one of the leg poles. The leg poles bend in slightly, creating tension which holds them in place. To put the other side in, try putting your feet on the hip poles and pull on the leg pole with one hand to get it straight while you slot it into position. Repeat these steps until all of the sections of the frame are assembled. Flip over two of the frame sections and join them together using your legs to guide them into the correct position. Do not join the sections too tightly until all of the sections are joined. Continue joining all of the frame sections together until the frame is complete. Work around the frame, hand tightening the joins and push down on the legs to ensure they are secure. Note that the spring hooks are slightly longer on one side. Now place all of the springs into the slots. This difference in length allows movement when the trampoline is in use. Open up the mat and lay it flat inside the frame, with printed logo facing upwards. Line up the logo parallel to a foot pole. First attach two springs to the mat. Now attach a spring every 10 spaces around the frame. Try using your hand to visually count the spaces while doing this process. Use the spring tool to attach the springs when it gets difficult. If you try to attach the springs without spacing them out, the mat will have too much tension, making it difficult to attach the springs on the opposite side. Keep attaching the springs to the mat in this manner until all of the springs are attached. Lay the safety pads on the mat with the colour that you like facing upwards. Position the pad's holes over black plugs in the frame. If you are not installing a net, just tie down the padding and you're finished. If you are installing a net, leave the padding untied and continue on to part two. To begin trampoline net installation, remove the black plugs using a screwdriver to pop them out. There are two different net poles, one with a rubber cap at one end and the other having two open ends. Line up the pre-drilled screw holes and join them together. Fasten them together with supplied screw and screwdriver. Do this for all poles provided. Slot each completed net pole through the hole in the safety pad and twist the pole around until the two holes visible in the square hip join line up. Put a screw into the hole and tighten it with a screwdriver. Take care doing this to avoid cross-threading the screw. Repeat this process for all the poles around the trampoline. Cover each pole with the black canvas cover slips provided. Lay the net on the trampoline and find the door. Take the top strap that lines up with the seam of the net located near the door. To tie the strap on, use the loop that is created by the buckle. Put the loop onto the pole about 5 centimeters from the top and tighten the buckle. It's important that you tie these straps firmly around the foam, creating an indentation which stops the strap moving up and down. Next, wrap the clip around the pole and secure it. Tighten the slack of the clip until the pressure is even with both straps. Leave around 5 cm between the pole and the net. Pass the strap back through the buckle to lock it and tie off the excess. Continue this until all top straps are secured. Next, lace the net to the mat using the shoestring. Start by tying a knot on the V-ring that lines up with the vertical seam of the net and the corresponding pole. Pull the net down onto the mat, ensuring that the net seam is parallel with the pole. Thread the shoestring through the nearest hole in the net and back down into the next ring. Hold the net down on the mat and thread the shoestring into the next ring using the same method until around four rings have the lace threaded through. Then pull the shoestring all the way out. Continue tying the net to the rings all the way around and finish by threading the last hole and tie off to the starting point. Now tie the middle straps horizontally onto the poles. Pass the strap around the pole twice and connect the clip, leaving around 10 centimeters between the pole and the net. 
Thread the strap back through the clip to keep it tight and tie off the excess strap. Tie all of the middle straps to their corresponding poles. Tie the black straps underneath of the safety pads to the trampoline, making sure the straps are tied loosely to prevent tearing when the trampoline is in use. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your new trampoline and net.